Hi guys, it's Roy from Bellados 3D here with another modeling video. In this video, I will be creating a cyberpunk style neon sign as you can see on the screen here. Um, I'll be going through how to use emission textures and how to use the text function in Blender. So let's get started. First things first, let's stop this and reset the camera angle and switch to the modeling tab. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off that turntable. I don't need that while I'm modeling. And I'm going to select this model and just move it off to the left there for a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to turn my screen cast keys on so you can see what I'm doing. It should appear down here in the bottom. Okay, and with Shift C, I'm going to reset my cursor to the center of the, the grid. Okay, with Shift A, I will open up the Add menu and I will find Text and click Text. And as you can see, that opens up an object that is says Text. Now, if you press Edit, you can go into Edit mode and you can change what it says in the text. Um, I will leave it as text for now because I need to make some changes to the font and what we can do is if we go over to our panel on the side here and click the object data pro properties in here we should find font and we can change all the different fonts and Blender actually uses TTF fonts um, and it can load them straight in rather than actually having to run them through Windows which is great so I don't have to install the uh, font into Windows to get it work. All you need to do is click on the little folder icon and then navigate to wherever um, your font is stored. When it first opens up it takes a little while to uh, Um, load because um, there's a lot of files in your font folder and sometimes crashes <laughs> so we will then go there and we'll navigate to where I've got my font and uh, cyberpunk sign and this is a font that I downloaded from where was it from fontsaddict.com I will leave a link in the description called Gouchon or Gouchon uh, however you spell that and you simply just select it and press open font as you can see it changes all your text to the Chinese style font I'm going to delete I'm going to delete all of this and I'm going to type cyberpunk but I'm going to type it I'm going to I'm going to spell it with an i because I know there is no symbol in this font for Y. It just gives a space, so I will do cyberpunk. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to press enter between each single one so we get a vertical. And if we come out into object mode, there we have our text on the screen there ready. Now what we want to do is if we go across here we I'm going to reduce the resolution a little bit back up to there. yeah reduce the reduce the resolution so that when uh, we we turn this into a mesh it's uh, not so heavy on the um, polygon count um, I'm going to go to the geometry tab just here and should be depth just here if we just click it up a couple until it looks nice just to give it a bit of depth and there we have it nice bit of depth now I'm going to convert this to a mesh so if I go up to object and find on here convert to and then mesh and that will now convert that into a mesh that you can edit. 
uh, as you can see it's a huge amount of tries on there a huge amount of polygons on there so um, if you want to take this into a game engine or anything you'll need to decimate this quite considerably um, but for this purpose of this tutorial this should be just about fine okay now what I want to do is I want to add a material to that so I'm going to go to the materials tab and I'm going to click new I'm going to call this one neon and yellow and if we go to the surface drop down and choose emission it will then create an emission shader I'm going to change that to a nice sort of orangey yellow sort of round there should do it give it a nice bright color and we'll go to strength and we're going to knock that up to five should be okay as you can see nice glowing neon letters looks brilliant and it's as simple as that getting a neon an emission shader on your on your uh, material right so what i want to do now is i'm going to rotate this so it's vertical so it's r x minus nine sorry 90 no minus 90 there we go and i'm going to move that up for now now what we want to do is we want to create the box that this text is on so pressing shift and c to bring the cursor back up to the center i'm going to create a cube and if i go into front orthographic row mode with the one key on the number pad i can then move that up and keep moving it up so it's about central and in edit mode press s and z to scale it on the z-axis and just keep moving it into position until you get a nice that's right if I press shift Z right now I should be able to see through the mesh and just gauge what I'm doing now I want to come back into object mode because I want to move this on the x-axis by pressing G so it's central to that piece there right let's go back into solid color mode now I want to go into side I'm gonna hide this actually so it's not in the way going to right hand orthographic and again press shift C I'm going into edit mode I want to scale on the y-axis with this and then bring it back now G Y to bring it back so that it's just flush on the back there it doesn't have to be perfect Okay, go back into solid mode now what I want to do is I want to go into face select by pressing 3 selecting the front face oh, the front face and pressing I to insert and if I inset that I can bring that down so it gives it a nice little border and what I will do is I will then by pressing alt and clicking one of these corner pieces I can I can uh, select the whole loop all the way around and then what I want to do is press E to extrude and just bring it forward slightly just like that all right. and now we're going to do the same again to create the tube light around the edge so I just want to press I to inset it and we'll bring it to about there and then press E to extrude it out again just a touch now what I want to do is I'm going to go into edge mode and I'm going to alt select this edge and the outer edge and using control and B I could yep control and B I can bevel that edge and I'm just gonna scroll it up about four or five times times was that <coughs> Ooh, 10 so I want 5 and that should now oh dear oh dear that bevel doesn't look very good at all does it 
let's uh, go back and let's just check here. No, the scale looks right. So why is that not beveling? Okay, we've got the outer edge and the inner edge selected and control B and just pull it back. Ah, that's better. I must have pulled it too far. And there we have the edge. Now if I shade smooth on that and then go to the uh, object data properties, drop down normals and click auto smooth. I'm going to bump that up to 50 just to sharpen the edges off a bit there. So we've got a nice rounded edge there. Right, now we need some materials. So what I want to do is, again, with this corner piece just here, I want to go into face mode and alt click that loop there. Now if I press control and the plus key on the numpad, I can actually extend my range select all the areas that I want and that's it and I'm going to create a material for this so I'll go into the materials tab select new and I will call that um, neon red change that to an emission shader and we will give that a nice bright red color and we'll bump that up to five Okay, and just assign that. Now if I press Control i it inverts my selection. I can then now create another new material. And we call that um, metal. And then if I click assign, that will assign it to the box there. And what I'll do is I'm gonna bring that down. I'm gonna make that a sort of medium sort of gray. I'm going to bump up the metallic on that, make it a metallic colour. And going back to the neon red, I think I'm going to drop this to about three because it does seem to be very, very bright. Excellent. And that's the front of the sign done. Now I'm just going to repeat this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into edit mode on the box I'm going to put an, an edge loop down here and in the face mode select that back face press X and then V to delete that um, the version on that cut the model in half go back into object mode if I click on the text and the sign and then press control and J that will then join the meshes together and I want in edit mode in edge select I want to select this edge here sorry here press control and S oh, sorry shift and S cursor to selected back into object mode and if I right click now I can set origin and origin to 3d cursor and the reason I want to do this I want the 3d cursor to be on the back of this so that when I put the mirror in um, modifier on it will it will uh, mirror around that origin so now if we go to the modifier tab click add modifier and mirror we change it from X to Y and turn the clipping on and there we have it both sides now what we can do with this is we can apply this mirror modifier if we go back into it we can go into the materials tab and if I was to click on the neon yellow and um, press the select button it would select all of these now what I want to do is go into the right orthographic and press Alt Z to go into X-ray mode. Now if I press B now and hold down the middle mouse button and bring it across to about there, that will deselect everything on that side. So now I've only got those letters on that side. And I can come across here, press plus, and create a new material. And I'm gonna name this one Neon Green. 
so sorry blue we'll, we'll have this one blue we'll have a light blue okay and assign that to there we can now then go to emission and change that color to a nice light sort of bluey sort of color and bring up the emission to about three and likewise we do exactly the same again unselect everything click on neon red select and then in the right view beta box select and middle mouse drag to unselect all of these and we will now create a, another color and we will call that neon green okay and assign that to that and then we'll change that to an emission shader change the color to a nice bright green and increase the string so now once we press alt z and go back into object mode we now have a two-sided sign with different colors with our nice cyberpunk style writing one more thing to do to give it a bit of a cleaner look a bit better look we can go back into edit mode and again in face mode we'll click uh, sorry in edge mode this time we will alt click this edge here and shift alt click this edge and then shift alt click these edges here and we'll control B to bevel and drag that out to make that nicely curved maybe increase it a couple more and there we have it, our cyberpunk style neon sign. If we go into the layout mode and bring back the turntable, I can then, oops, shrink that down so that it fits on the turntable. And in the, oops. in the camera view if I press space now to play the animation there we go if you'd like to know how to uh, create this turntable animation um, this is basically a, a um, camera rig using an um, empty as a target and a bezier curve as a path um, let me know in the comments and what I will do is um, put together a video showing how to do this turntable presentation. Um, I hope you like the content this video. A little bit shorter than normal. Thank God, you, I hear people say. <laughs> um, if you'd like to keep, see more of this type of content, see me uh, create more models in Blender, then hit the like and hit the subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Thank you very much for joining me.